ladies and gentlemen welcome back to youtube wrestling entertainment and well, we are starting the night off right we are starting the night off with our world champion is the man we haven't seen here in a couple of weeks after that incredible ladder match against the one and only chris danger where he was able to defend his championship successfully once again and continue to be our youtube world champion but hey tonight you never know he could be still hurting this could be the night for his opponent to pick up a huge win over our world champion and possibly put his name inside that title championship contender picture whatever you want to call it but austin creed is definitely looking to go ahead and make it and make an example out of his opponent as well showing that he still has what it takes inside of the ywe along with showing that here is no that there's no rust and that there's no pain from what he had to go through in that ladder match. And you know he's always feeling festive. He's always upbeat. And you know he always has Francesca right there on his side. And his opponent is an individual that has been trying his best to get a win here inside of YWE for weeks now. Four weeks. He cannot seem to find his stride here in the YWE. And I can, you can look at the frustration on his face. You can see the frustration building up each and every time that he steps out onto the ramp and into the ring. You know all he wants is to just finally pick up a huge W here inside of the YWE. He's sick and tired of losing. And it was only a matter of time before he just snaps. And, I, and when that happens, ladies and gentlemen, I will not be sitting here ringside. I can tell you that I will not be sitting here ringside. Yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you guys, uh, I know you guys have noticed, but I am just now truly really noticing that jacket right now. It's it's a half Jericho slash long, long sleeve jacket with, it's like a shoulder pad from a football pad, it looks like almost. On the other shoulder, you know he wants to run through his opponents then when he wears that. I don't know if he's been wearing that. And the other ones, I've kind of been looking down at my monitors. It's the first time I really looked up at the superstars. And I can I can tell you, yeah, he's uh he's definitely if that's what he's been wearing, then you know he needs to maybe switch it up. But otherwise, if he has been wearing that every week, then you already know what he might be looking to do. And he's right there. The lights and everything is on him. Look, I, I cannot wait for this match. I already know these two individuals be going at it all night long. And this match is finally underway and Austin Creed immediately comes out with a chop, but Darnell immediately coming back with a chop of his own. A big suplex right there. German suplex out of nowhere, immediately taking it straight to the champion. And Darnell isn't playing any games, but our leg drag right there from the from our champion. Now this is not a championship match, but this could very much have championship type of you know you, you know what the word I'm trying to say. I cannot think of it right how to say it correctly right now, but you know exactly what I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen. Basically, if Darnell can pick up this win here tonight, he can definitely put himself into that championship picture and possibly pick up. A huge win at, in the process. But Darnell is going to be making his way up to the very top and dropping that elbow right there onto, onto Creed. And he thinks that he has enough, but no. Creed immediately kicks out at the count of one. And Darnell showing off that strength that he possesses, lifting him straight up into the air. And Darnell just letting him fall down to the mat. And dropping that elbow now as Darnell can only imagine what this uh how crazy this loud this crowd is gonna go if Darnell can pick up this win and just throws Creed into the corner here. Creed finally starting to fight back. Super kick out of nowhere as well. Gonna go ahead and throw his head into this mat as well. And here comes Austin Creed trying to fire up a little bit DDT off the middle rope. 
And look at him saying how smart he is, but that misses to his feet. Drop kick from Creed. And Creed picks him up. And he's just gonna pat him down. And he's gonna hold on to it. He could be enough to know. Creed looking for a suplex. He gets every bit of it as well. Creed taking it straight to Darnell with that, dropping the fist directly onto the head. Rolling, oh, I'm sorry, a rolling right fist. I'm sorry, I was looking, looking back at this fan who was bothering me. Oh my gosh, elbow will drop off the middle of the rope right there from, from Austin Creed. That could be a never no. Creed trying to take it. Trying to take it to Darnell, but Darnell's trying to fight back. He passed him up. Power bomb position. Big power bomb. He gets every bit of it. Flooding the champion down. In no right. Left hand. Left hand from from Creed. I'm oh, sorry, from Darnell, but Creed's gonna go ahead and throw Darnell to the outside. And Creed. Oh, I thought he was going over the top rope, but he gets the jump kick through the ropes. Creed's going to go ahead and throw Darnell into the corner. Flatting Darnell down. And look at Creed. He's poised. He's ready to strike with something. Chad New Day and he gets oh he gets the he gets the big close line he thinks that could be enough to put Darnell away too and no Darnell able to kick out again right big right here might have busted open Darnell kick to the lower back Creed has been in the control of this matchup, but Darnell gets to his feet quickly and backbreaker. Another one and just stumbling Creed to the side. Oh, big jumping knee strike right there. That is not that knee strike has knocked out a lot of individuals here inside the WIE. And he moves sorry the YWE. And Darnell moves out the way, but it does uh, looks like he wasn't gonna maneuver off, but he gets plants. He plants Creed down, but Creed had his foot under the rope, so he was able to get out of that predicament that he was in. But Creed puts him away from the ropes. And no, now Creed kicks out at one. Fans are loving this matchup to start off the night here in the inside of the YWE, which is the YouTube Wrestling Entertainment Company, and dropping that elbow after making Darnell miss his Austin Creed. And Creed taking it to Darnell again. Creed has him hooked and plants him down. Beautiful, I believe, I don't want to say the swing neck breaker, but it almost worked like one. Right there from Austin, from Austin Creed. Is he gonna go ahead and throw Darnell to the corner here? The Creed going up to the second row, looking for another DDT off the second row as he gets enough. All of them turn down a DDT right there from Austin Creed, and he doesn't get the three count. Darnell fighting with everything he has in his match. Creed Bulldog. And he's going up to that top rope. You know he could be looking for that elbow drop. He, oh, he doesn't get any of it. Missing the elbow drop. Darnell right there to make him pay. Could be looking for Alabama slam. And now he's going to stretch out that knee. Stretching out that knee of the champion. Targeting those lower extremities. Big suplex right there from Darnell as well. As now he's in control of this matchup. 
Gonna let him do everything he can to put the champion away, but the champion with a running knee strike again. Champion with a big running knee strike. He's gonna go ahead and pick the pick up his opponent and James Darnell is slapping his head off the top turnbuckle once. He's gonna go ahead and throw him to the other side. Drop kick into the corner. Puts him down. Okay, now Austin's gonna go ahead and pick him up to his feet. Size him up, rolling form. Rolling four from the champion. Oh, another running forearm. And now Creed going up to the middle rope again. Dropping that elbow off the middle rope. Trying to soften up the chest of James Darnell. And Creed big running knee. Oh, sorry, not even a running knee strike. Just a jumping knee strike. Putting the big man down. It's going to go and throw him into the corner now. And a running forearm into that corner. And the crowd is fully behind Creed as he's still in control of this matchup. And Creed, a little bit of eat the feet. Eat the feet. And that could be enough to put the challenge. Oh. Even eating the feet wasn't enough to put James Darnell away. Showing a true fighting spirit for Darnell. Oh, I thought Darnell was coming back, but another another running slash jumping knee strike from Cree and Cree's on the top rope. He could be looking for the elbow drop, but doesn't get it again. Darnell has him red, and right back to these knee strikes. And now Darnell thinks that's enough to get the job. No. Darnell's going up to that top ropes now. Darnell could be looking to do a high risk maneuver. He's even looking for that shoulder strike that I mentioned during his entrance. That's why he was wearing. That's why he was wearing that shoulder pad. But a big clothesline to Creed. But Creed kicks out, misses the drop kick though as Darnell moves out the way. And Darnell slowing down the pace again as he tosses Creed to the side. And Darnell's gonna go ahead and pick Creed. No, Creed coming back, missing the running form. Darnell hits him in the back of the head. Oh, reversal from Creed. Creed's gonna go ahead and throw him into the ropes, drop down. Big running knee struggle with all that momentum. He has to be out cold. He has to be out cold. And now Creed setting him up for one more eat defeat. And he gets every bit of it. And that's it. One, two, three. And Austin Creed picks up another win here tonight. And James Darnell, unfortunately, not picking up another win. But I am hearing from backstage, we are going to hear from our champion in just a second. But James Darnell, once again, not picking up a win. And you know he has to be frustrated, as you see. Yeah, he's definitely frustrated. But let's hear from our champion. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to YWE YouTube Wrestling Entertainment. Big news from our champion next week. He is holding an open challenge for the YouTube Wrestling World Championship. I can only imagine the people that might that might go ahead and take up that opportunity. Who knows that that can even be answered by this man in Brandon Collins. 
or it can be answered by his opponent. Hell, it can even be answered by James Darnell again. But Brandon Collins finally getting some action inside the square circle after being brutally beaten for the last few weeks by Andre Jones. But he's looking to go ahead and get himself back on the right track here inside of YouTube Wrestling Entertainment. But his opponent is, is one of the local talent here inside. Is one of the local talent here in this very fine city. But unfortunately, he's going to be going against one of the best in Brandon Collins. But there is no slots. This man has been able to put on bangers down in the indie scene. And I've heard many times that he. He likes to play spoiler to a lot of uh, hot top priority people who think that they're going to come in and just do whatever they want when he's in the ring. And I can't imagine what Bronson can do when he's inside of the, the square circle. But uh, you can see he does not like the fans here. He does not give a damn about anyone but himself. As you, you can see that. Like, ding dong, hello. Don't you know where you're at? This is YouTube Wrestling Entertainment. You should be hyped. You should be happy that you're getting the opportunity to go against one of the elite here inside of YouTube Wrestling. But Brandon Collins and Derek Bronson, let's get this match underway. And Derek immediately coming straight out to Brandon. And oh, planning Brandon. I don't think Brandon was uh, truly aware of what he was getting himself into. Maybe those are just some rust from not being in the ring for a long time. But Brandon trying to come back now. Oh, beautiful. What are Snapdragon suplex right there from Brandon Collins as well? And Brandon. Rolling back and slap followed by a huge lariat. And Brandon's gonna go ahead and throw Bronson into the corner right here. Forearm to the head. And then a, a running. I, I know what it's called, but I cannot get it off the top of, tip of my tongue for some reason. But you know what it is. The big moves off the top rope from Brandon Collins. Picture perfect. And Bronson is in a bad way early on in this matchup already. Brandon's gonna go ahead and throw Bronson into the rose drop down. Looks like he might have been trying to go over the top, but a little bit of miscommunication. From his feet to his head. But Bronson, once again, trying to come back into his matchup. Right hand from Bronson as well. And he's just gonna try to choke out Brandon on the ropes. Big uppercut from Bronson as well. Over the top does Bronson go as he now is going to work over the leg, that right leg of Brandon Collins. Trying to continue to hurt Brandon. I'm surprised he's not targeting the shoulder of Brandon. As you can see, he is heavily wrapped up and going through multiple tables from, uh, from Andre Jones and his vicious attacks. Brandon double stop in the corner. You know, Brandon is gonna let some injuries keep him from doing what he loves to do. Best and that is entertaining these fans here tonight. Twist the fate. Twist the fate on the Bronson. And that could be the, the fate that ends it all for Bronson. And float over DDT from Brandon Collins. And that's gonna be it. Two, and oh no, Bronson able to kick out. Bronson able to kick out of the float over DDT. I guess you could say it's almost the DDT of glory. Or the fall of glory, but it looks like he might, looks like he might have been looking for the knee of glory. But doesn't get over, but he gets a beautiful running 
forearm right there. It's does Brandon Collins, and now Collins going to go ahead and go to the top rope. And he's looking for a big frog splash, and he gets every single bit of it. One, two, and no. Bronson kicks out again. Bronson kicking out once again, and Brandon might have been getting a little frustrated in this matchup, but he's not stopping, taking it immediately to Bronson. Hit to the head. I still can't remember that maneuver. I, it's like right there, it took my tongue. I see RVD do it a lot, but I just cannot remember what, he, what it is called for some reason. But Brandon taking it straight to him, dropping the knee onto the arm of Bronson. Plus the crowd to get quiet. Swinging neck breaker. Brandon's gonna go ahead and pick Bronson up. Gonna throw him into the corner right here. And oh, Insiguri in the corner. Insiguri in the corner running. It was like a running drop kick into the ropes right there for Brandon Collins as well. And Brandon has Bronson. Ooh. He's basically full control of this matchup. It's exactly what we expected, but we didn't expect Bronson to hang in there this long into the matchup. Like this kid is showing a lot of heart, but Brandon plants him down with the elevated cutter. And you already know Brandon is looking for another fall of DD. The, the fall of DDT or DDT of Glory, whatever you want to call it, the fall of glory, whatever he calls it. I can't remember right now. He's gonna we're gonna have a conversation about that later on. I already know. But Brandon was going to wait for Bronson to get to his feet. Looks like he's looking for a knee of glory again, but Bronson able to, to reverse it into a, 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 a I want to say a neck breaker. This is now going to go ahead and start targeting that shoulder region of Brandon. Finally going after all those injuries that you can see Brandon has. Bronson's gonna go ahead and throw Brandon into the corner right here. Ross is going up to the second row. Oh, he's gonna let that choke, choke Brandon out in the corner. And Brandon could just be out. You never know. But Bronson putting the lapel lock onto the onto the injured arm of Brandon. Is Brandon gonna tap out? He has the injured arm in the lapel lock. And Brandon's just fighting and fighting and fighting. Can he get out of it? Can he get out? Oh. And Brandon, I know, I know that shoulder is killing him right now as he just misses the flying four on one of Bronson. And Bronson taking it, targeting that arm once again. Oh my gosh. Targeting that arm once again, softened him up. But this time, Brandon hits the flying forearm kick up. And Brandon twists the fate. Hopefully, spells the end for Bronson. But Collins going down to the middle rope, coming back down. And Brandon. He's going to look for the fall of glory one more time. There it is. Fall of glory. But he doesn't pick up. He doesn't go for the pivot. Oh, no, no, he does. He might have a momentary memory last in that, that split hesitation. That split hesitation could be the only reason Bronson is still in this matchup. That slight hesitation from Brandon Collins is probably the only reason why Bronson is still in this matchup. But Bronson's fighting back in the corner, targeting that arm once again, targeting the shoulder of Brandon Collins. That's hard to watch, ladies and gentlemen. That he's, he's definitely torn a rotator cup or something by now. And now look at Bronson to ultimate side. Just to put him in the sharpshooter, having him targeting that lower back now of Brandon. But Brandon powers out with his legs. Flips over, flips off of his chest. And Brandon 
Getting excited, drop kick, kick up. And Brandon Collins is feeling it a little bit. And adrenaline is pumping inside of Brandon Collins. And nice to go ahead and throw Bronson into the corner here. Hit. And I'm on my chest and Brandon up to the top row. And swinging neck breaker off the middle row. Swinging neck breaker off the middle row. And the fans are loving it. Two banger of a matches back to back. And Bronson. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Brad, oh, he has to be it. That, yeah, that has to be done. And no. Brandon kicks out again. And Bronson, you know he's pissed off. He's going right back to that sharp shooter. He's going to make Brandon pay. He's going to make Brandon suffer. Brandon's, it, it, he looks like he's out of it. He's just wrenching on that lower back of Brandon Collins and Collins just, he's fighting every bit, trying to figure out a way on how to get out of this sharpshooter. Is Brandon gonna tap? Kenny gets out of it. Kenny get out of it and Brandon trying to, oh, he gets out. That was almost bad. I know Brandon is hurting. Exponentially right now, he hits another twist of fate. I know his body is hurting, but he just needs to hit the fall of glory one more time. Fall of glory one more time and a road break. A road break saving Derek Bronson, but he goes right back. One, two, and three. And Brandon Collins, after a hard fought match from Derek Bronson, gets the win. But hey, shout out to Derek Bronson. He brought it tonight and gave Brandon Collins everything he had. But Brandon Collins, I've been told as well, will have some words after his celebration. Let's hear from him. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to YouTube Wrestling Entertainment. And now we are finally... This man hasn't been seen in a hell of a long time, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say since since week one, if I'm not mistaken, possibly, of the YouTube Wrestling Entertainment, if I, if I remember correctly. But this is the, the nightmare of the YouTube Wrestling scene. Jay Johnson, he was another individual who is winless here inside of YouTube Wrestling Entertainment. And you know he is chopping at the bits to finally get back in the ring and finally pick up a win. And not to be just like James Darnell, who was unfortunately winless here as well inside of YouTube Wrestling Entertainment. But look at this individual. He, this, I, I want to tell you guys, John, if you ever see someone who is ferocious, this is him. 
If you love ferociousness, you love people who just come in here and like to beat people up, that is what this guy loves to do. Do not get that cross across his chest mistaken. Yes, he's a man of God, but he will beat you down like he is the devil himself. But let's see who his opponent is going to be here tonight. This is a match that I was never told about, but oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think this guy versus Jay is going to be one hell of a match. If you thought the last two matches were great, this one is going to be amazing. The legendary heartbreak kid himself, Carter, the legend is making his way down to the ring. These two men put on a great match in a fatal four way in the week one of YouTube Wrestling Entertainment. And I can only imagine what they're gonna do here tonight. We already had two banger of a matches. So I can only imagine what this guy, what these guys are gonna do here. I, I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm very excited for this. I don't know if you can tell, but I am very excited to see what these two guys, they, they do not disappoint. Like they are, they are bangers after bangers after bangers. Like it's 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 insane. I can, I I just want to say that I am talking a lot. Yes, ladies, I know I am talking a lot, but we all know why I am talking a lot. When his music is playing, I have to talk about any and anything I can for certain reasons here ladies and gentlemen i think we all know what those reasons are okay um if not then hey look at the bottom of your screen you'll see it eventually if i haven't put it already you'll see it there but this match is underway and immediately carter comes out blocky and looking for the oh he hits him with the with the second rope moonsault right there Getting at almost, I want to say every bit of it, but it wasn't really there. They probably got him with the tip of it. But Carter in control of this matchup early on. And now he's immediately coming out, trying to focus on that arm. Focus on the arms of Jay. But Carter going to go ahead and go to the top rope right here as Jay's land. Bro, now he's going to wait for Jay to get to his feet. And Carter missing. Looked like he was looking for a diving forearm, but he misses every bit of it. But Jay was still stunned long enough for Carter to get back, hit, get his hands back in control, get back in control of this matchup with some big kicks into the corner. And now some more kicks while he, Jay's laid down off the rope and big knee strike to Jay. And Carter thinks that's going to be enough to go ahead and put the match away, but Jay kicks out at two. That was a big knee strike right there. Probably knocked a, a couple of teeth loose inside of the nightmare's mouth. And now a big knee strike as well. That, yeah, he definitely has some loose teeth if, if they haven't been taken out already. And there goes that drag, that uh, leg, that snap leg drop. There goes the one on snap dragon right there. I completely messed up on what I was trying to say right there, ladies and gentlemen. But hey, that's what happens when you are doing when you got live TV here. Yes, I said this is live TV. You know it's live. It's okay. And big hit to the big clothesline right there from the nightmare is gonna get a running knee strike, putting down, putting Carter down immediately. And belly to belly suplex right there from the nightmare as he's now in control of this matchup. And Carter's in a bad way. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and throw Carter into the corner. Looks like he was looking for a running knee into the corner, but does not get any of it. Big running, big running uppercut. It's right there from Jay as well. And Jay looked like he was looking for a, almost a perfect plex, but doesn't get it. And Carter's trying to fight back. Carter gets him up on his shoulders. And oh, not go to sleep German suplex. A go to sleep German suplex combination. And now he's looking to wear down the nightmare. Oh, Code Breaker getting every bit of it. That could be another point you away. No. Jay 
Jay was able to kick out the cold breaker from that from the legend himself. And beautiful North Northern Lights suplex right there. And another uppercut from the nightmare. And a nightmare with the devastating kick strikes. And Jay looking for the perfect flex, getting every bit of it. Jay's gonna go ahead and go up to this middle rope right here. And a beautiful maneuver right there from Jay as well. As he thinks it's gonna be enough to go ahead and hit the no. Looked like he thought it was gonna be enough to put that match away. But Jay's now trying to work over that arm of, of the Carter here. Big shot from Jay. And Jay kicked the knee out. You know when he kicks the knee out in the corner, he's looking for a little bit of Oakland Sunrise, and he gets every bit of it. Oakland Sunrise from Jay. Oh, no, Carter kicks out. Carter kicks out of the Oakland Sunrise. But, oh, no, Carter's fighting back with that elbow. Beautiful exploding suplex, right? almost X of a exploding suplex right there from Carter. Kick to the gut from Jay. These two men going back and forth. Super kick to the jaw. A super kick to the jaw of Carter. And he got both the wings. Oh! Double arm suplex right there from Jay. And Jay is going to go ahead and drag Carter over to the ropes. Close line over the ropes. And Jay could be looking to take a little bit of a flight. So thank God Helio over the top ropes from Jay. Crowd loving this matchup. This has been an incredible night already. As we already have two huge matches announced for next week as well. An open challenge for our world championship from Austin Creed and also a big super kick right there from Jay, but also a huge tables match. Brandon Collins versus Andre Jones. Oh my God, and he, and he's out. He's out that knee strike, he puts him out. One, two, and three. And Carter with a huge knee strike out of nowhere. Knocking Jay the hell out. Carter with a jumpy knee strike, knocking Jay out, picking up a huge win here tonight. And ladies and we are, I just got to let you know one thing, and I think you know it, because when you see this man, it means only one thing. It means it is main event time here inside of YouTube Wrestling Entertainment, and it is match, I believe this is six. Yes, match six, I believe, of this best of seven series. And oh my gosh. Phoenix Nitro taking a page out of out of Aaron Matthews' playbook and then tagging him before the bell. It's, and here comes Aaron coming back on Phoenix. Pause, no freaky. Looking like he was looking for a chop to the head to the chest of of Phoenix, but he was able to get out of that maneuver right there from Phoenix is Aaron Matthews. Aaron Matthews is down in this series three to one, I believe. Or three to two. Yeah, three to two, sorry. Wait, no, sorry, this is match five. No, yeah, no. Sorry, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I am I am all over the place. It is match five. This is he's down three to one in this series. After not picking up the win last week, and here comes Phoenix Nitro off the ropes and finding them down. You know, Phoenix Nitro wants to hurry up and get this match done and over with so he can hurry up and move on and, and finally get to challenge for the YouTube World Championship. And looks like Aaron's able to get that jacket off, but. 
Phoenix not giving a damn, taking it straight to him again and planting him down once again. Phoenix Nitro keeps taking it to Aaron Matthews, but the simply better one does not give a damn. He's trying to battle back. He has him up, power up. Oh no. He has him up in the Razor's edge position, but Phoenix able to sneak out the back door and plant him down. Beautiful neck breaker there from Phoenix Nitro. He's going to go ahead and go to the outside. And he's going to go ahead and pick up that kidno stick he came outside with. And looks like he was trying to. Eric Matthews trying to go over the top rope to catch, her, to catch Phoenix Nitro, but he crashed and burned. And now Phoenix, kindle stick in hand, gonna take full advantage, but no. No, Eric Matthews isn't, isn't gonna allow that to happen. Stomping on the chest of Phoenix Nitro. Stomping on it, on his wrist now. Now he's gonna wrench back on that neck, try to get Phoenix Nitro to submit, but you know Phoenix has he has too much grit for that. Beautiful maneuver right there to get away from that right hand from Phoenix, oh, Phoenix Nitro. Kick to the gut, draws Phoenix into the corner. And Aaron Matthews looking for that big knee. That huge knee into the corner, and then dropping the elbow onto the chest of Phoenix. And Aaron Matthews in. Firmly in control of this matchup. Taking it straight to Nitro and blew a thunder! Blew a thunder bomb from Aaron Matthews. He thinks that's gonna be enough to put the man away, but no. Phoenix in with a kick out of the blue thunder bomb. And now he's just gonna step on the wrist and hand of Phoenix. Big knee. A lot of knee strikes done here tonight. One putting away Jay in the last match. A big inverted Phoenix splash off the top rope as well. And I, I don't know, Laser, if you if I said this earlier on or not, but this is a no holds barred match in this best of seven series. It, oh. Looks like he's looking for a splash to the corner, but Phoenix able to duck out the way of another maneuver. And looking for a spike pause driver, but Aaron able to sneak away on it. He has a road up one. Oh no. And now Aaron trying to make Phoenix Nitro submit again. Is Phoenix Nitro going to be able to power out of this when he had the ropes right there? He could have reached for him. But Phoenix has him. And a oh, beautiful powerbomb esque version of that maneuver. Yeah. And now Aaron's trying to battle back. Finish with a big forearm drop. That drop kick to the lower legs of Aaron Matthews. And you know, these two individuals hate each other a very. This is a perfect match for these two individuals that hate each other very well. It's stomping on the chest of Aaron Matthews as Phoenix Nitro. Slapping to the, slap to the face. Oh, speaking of slaps to the face. It's, oh, some more slaps to the face, softening them up, possibly. Oh, now the kicks to the head, but softening, softening up that head for that devastating rolling form that Phoenix Nitro does so well. So the most positive, the crack the double, a shovel. The fans wanting tables, and oh my gosh, smacking Aaron Matthews. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I, could, I couldn't even say it, but King Shasta. But the simply better knee knocking Phoenix Nitro down, didn't give him with a King Shasa. And now as I'm up, oh, I thought he was going for another Blue Thunder Bomb lay on the outside. But now he wants to wrench on the neck. He wants to make Phoenix Nitro suffer some more. He just wants to inflict physical pain onto Phoenix Nitro. And Nitro ever get out of that maneuver. And now another drop kick to the lower legs, trying to soften him up, trying to make sure that he cannot hit that 
Punisher that he can't hit that run the simply better knee again. And now Aaron looked look like he was going down there for a chair, but Aaron saw it coming. Aaron going to the outside. He started going to the inside of the ring. Possibly won't take this match back in the ring, but Phoenix lowered him back out there. Beautiful snap dragon suplex as well. And Aaron gets hit in the head. Oh, he hit it again with the chair. Aaron, I'm sorry, Phoenix trying to take Aaron out. Rolling forward from Aaron though. And these two men battling right there next to the ring, right next to the ramp. And Aaron wants him back in. The fit is natural. On the outside, oh, looks like Aaron might be looking for a dive, but he chose better of it. Remember what happened earlier in the matchup that he tried to do it. And Aaron, oh, planned him down with that. Aaron still trying to soften up. Phoenix Nitro and, and Phoenix could be looking. Oh, Phoenix is tapping on the outside, but he needs to get back in the ring and make him tap. Tapping on the outside does not count in a no holds barred match. And Aaron finally gets Phoenix back into the middle of the ring. All he gets my enemy possibly ready to find put the match with Aaron again. Targeting the legs of Aaron Matthews and Phoenix. Oh no, Aaron able to reverse the maneuver. Aaron picks him up. Looks for that silly better knee, but doesn't get it again. Again, he doesn't get it, but this, but hey, these two men going back and forth in this match. I can barely keep up with the words that I'm saying, and I know you can tell. Off the middle rope, oh, he gets the, he gets the move, so off the middle rope, every bit of it. He's going up to that top rope now. And double stomps in the chest of Phoenix Nitro. And he thinks it's gonna be enough to put the match away. Oh no, Phoenix immediately powers out. That had to be just, oh uh, no, kick up. Looking both, one looking for the Sydney, but he looked, one looking for the crack that goes. Both men this again and yeah, this time, Phoenix getting the backstabber. He's gonna go almost to the corner, missing that dro drop kick. Four almost to the corner, and put him down with a power bomb out the corner. And there, and Phoenix oh, simply better knee, simply better knee. Finally, kick next one, two, three, and the simply better one. Finally picks up another win in the best of seven series. He's down three to two, but he's trying to pull the ultimate comeback. A hell of a night, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see you again later. You guys all have a great day.